we haven't seen this question tonight from Michael. Talking about an underspin, at what time do you decide to change the colors on the bait? And how often do you do that? So if I'm if I'm throwing that bait and I keep like getting bumps, I keep messing them, ain't getting it. I change up my colors. Um, I got another color I was catching on too that that blue color, mm -hmm. that smoky blue color. It had like some flash in it. It was a, uh, I think it was a good color for deep water, and they were really biting it good. And I would chartreuse the tail on that and throw that, and uh, we caught a lot of big fish on that one too. Uh, but that seemed to be like a pretty good change up from that natural looking herring color to, you know, that, you know, for a change up. Um, sometimes I will try a pearl, just like a, a straight pearl color or like a, a white pearl or a chartreuse kind of pearl or something like that. Um, but I keep my colors pretty simple. You know, I keep them, you know, bait fish type colors, mm -hmm. you know. That blue color is a little bit different, though. And it's sometimes that's okay different. to have that different color out there. So uh, let's see. Tracy Coker, hey, we appreciate you watching us tonight. Scott says uh, that's his new favorite worm setup, that Nico. Uh, and Kevin Thornton, uh, fishing with my Monday night partner, beating the bank. Hey, listen, I enjoyed <laughs> it. And uh, hugging your wife was a highlight, too, for me like that. I love Miss <laughs> Terry. Oh, no, I love Miss <laughs> Terry. She come up, she gave us, she took pictures of us. Yeah, she had to document it like that. No, but I had a great time with you, Kevin. I'd love to do it again. So, when do you change the color of the head, if at all? I don't think the head color matters. I think I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. Do we I overthink think, that? I think you overthink it too much, really. Um, you know, is it is it a thing? I don't know. Some people really, it's whatever you got confidence in. Yeah. Me, I mean, I can take a purple, green, blue, whatever head color. I do think the 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 broader part of the like the biggest part of the bait i do think that matters but i think you know i mean look at a jig head dude how long have we thrown lead heads 100 percent. that's what i was getting there to say uh, you know i don't think that little bitty head of it makes that much of a difference um you know and i, and I think sometimes you know would it matter in clean crystal clear water uh, maybe i don't know yeah maybe i don't know i mean i, I throw it like yeah. on my at, in winter i'll have an underspin i have a like a three i usually throw a three inch easy shiner that three inch easy shiner it's always been on an owner lockdown non-painted yeah. take it same thing to gunnersville i take it to clark's hill wherever catch and, and you, you can catch them on an underspin and a swim bait at the same time and one's got a white head one's got an unpainted head I don't yeah. know that it makes a difference. I, uh, if he's that smart, I can't catch him. Well, my shaky yeah, head. Right. Well, if he's that smart, you probably ain't going to catch him. No, anyway. Yeah, well, one of my favorite shaky head baits is the owner, and I throw this straight lead. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't really worry about the color of the head that much at all. So, All right, guys, so I'll tell you what. We're going we're gonna to wrap this up right now. Um, Got to let Kevin go home and get some rest, and uh, Lord knows I need it too. So we're going to end it up right there. Kevin, listen. Appreciate you coming up as always. Again, I still think he is the best fishing guide on Lake Lanier. So you guys definitely need to check him out at that. Uh, so several guys said they wanted to, uh, Tracy Coker being one of them, they need to get a trip with you soon. So uh, I highly recommend that. And the proof is in the pudding. Just look at the pictures. Them ain't fake. Them are real fish he's catching. He puts them on there. And again, when he has a chance to pour his special edition flukes, yeah. you, know, you keep just keep checking his website. He'll make a post yeah. on social media. But get those, and um, I appreciate you coming up here, dude, and, and spending some time with us and all that. So, and if uh, somebody wants to go out and learn a little bit more in depth about this stuff, we just kind of brushed on the surface of things today. But yeah, you, you do know, a lot more really, on the trip. You really want to dive into this stuff and really learn, you know, about thermoclines and stuff. We still got quite a bit of mm -hmm. thermocline fishing left. So, I mean, you know, there's definitely a lot of opportunities still left there to get out there and learn it, learn it now. So, yeah. Um, so book a trip with the man. Yeah. Book a trip. So I appreciate all you guys saying good show. Hey, again, it's the guest and it's you guys in the comment section to make the show. 
And Dave, you're always up here. Sometimes you're in the yeah. background and all that. I appreciate you coming up there. And as always, the unsung hero right. on Tuesday nights sure. back there is Mr. Blake back there. At least put there you go. He's back there. He's trying <laughs> he was, to stay awake. He was quiet back there. Today. He, he, well, he was listening. Listen, I'm questions. not going to lie. I'm about half asleep. I'm beat. I'm sick. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I enjoyed it. I think Kevin's the best one we get on the show, honestly. He yeah, don't. He it's don't. always good. So He gives all the juice. So. He does give the juice. And so, but again, guys, all right, so. Make sure you check him out. Book a trip with him. If you're interested in that um, monthly box subscription, hey, I promise you it's some good stuff. It's going to even get better. And um, one more question. Can we pop in one more question? What are the differences of a quality in an underspin? What makes a great underspin really quick? What makes a good underspin? Well, definitely one that will run right. Straight. Straight. I like none of this run. crap. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to throw nobody's lures underneath the bus, uh, but there's companies out there that you know their daggum underspins flip and do weird roll stuff. and yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't like that stuff. And and now, I mean, you can totally mess up an underspin by putting a plastic on and just cramming it on the hook. You know, pay attention to your your rigging the bait, the way that you're you know you're putting that lure on the hook. Um, a lot of times now with all the fishing pressure, what are some of the things you can do to make sure you're doing everything better than the next guy? Uh, one thing is rigging your plastics good and straight, making sure that, you know, everything you can do to make that bait look good. Uh, most definitely. But, uh, but yeah, like he says, I throw that, I, I love that. That's my favorite understanding. Spot, spot choker. choker. And he uses Gamagatsu hook. Yep. And um, uh, the, his head design keeps it yep. from rolling. That that design on that dude, man, it's it's a good one. You know, it is a good I one. I like it. it it's but, it, it's. I